Hey everyone, this is Zero Prime and welcome to another edition of Zero Review where I take a look back at some of the games I played on my channel and talk about them with my thoughts, opinions and experiences on said games. And today we'll be talking about The Dig from LucasArts Entertainment. Now I enjoyed The Dig as it's one of my favorite point and click games. It was, I definitely, bah, excuse me. I played this game a lot as a kid on PC, and I definitely enjoyed the story and the puzzles, as basically it was just, to me, a very good game. That the, mute, the soundtrack to it I enjoyed a lot, and also the animation and sprites. It was definitely a fun game, and basically you play as a group, you play as uh, Boston Lowe, and along with his crew, try to stop an asteroid from colliding with Earth, but then you re the but then you discover that it's actually a starship that took you to another planet, and now you have to try to figure out what happened to the inhabitants of the planet in order to try to find a way to get back home. And like I said, for point and click games, this was one of my favorite ones, alongside with Monkey Island. That basically you pick up any item and you try to use those items to try to solve puzzles. And along the way, you get more in depth with the story, and like I said, I just have fond memories of the dig. And whenever if I want to feel like it, I go always oh, just load it up and just play for it for fun. So I would definitely recommend it. That it's available on Steam. That you can find it there and play for yourself. As I would say, this is one of the great, plus uh, one of the great point and click games in my opinion. And of course, the one thing I do want to mention that I remember seeing from an old LucasArts Entertainment Magazine temp booklet thing that they showed the dig, but they showed some different images than what I saw in the in game. So I wonder if there was like you know some um, development of plant. There was like you know content from the original game cut from that. That'd be interesting to know. But anyway, getting a little sidetrack off of that. So if you see the dig on Steam. I would highly recommend you down you buy it, download it, and have fun with it. You would definitely have a good time with it. Although, like for some of the most point and click games, there are some puzzles that are a little bit hard to understand, like with that light puzzle that you have to push the correct color codes in order to move the claw. As there's no real like hints that I saw that you know you would be able to figure it out on your own, so. Like I said, for those kind of things, that's why you can find, re you know, hints and tips on how to solve the puzzles. But like I said, The Dig is a very good game. I would recommend playing it, so... In any case, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you've been enjoying this as much as I have. And as always, leave a comment below, subscribe for more for your update, share this on your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and other social medias, and don't forget to hit the like button to help out the channel, and to turn on the notifications so you stay up to date on my channel. I also have a Patreon account for those of you that want to help me out in some shape or form. And th as always, thank you for watching everyone, and have a good day. Bye bye!